Hey guys, welcome to the Turret Series 7 day. I'm reviewing this, which is the Super Mario 4 inch um, Jack Pacific Goomba. So, really cool, really blessed to pick this up today. Now, this is pretty neat. We got a nice clear packaging of the Goomba with a question box. We got the Super Mario logo. I gotta say, I just love this packaging. I mean, I don't think this was intentional, but it literally looks like Mario is about to jump on the Goomba. His foot is literally on the Goomba's head. I mean, I don't think this was intentionally done by Jack Pacific, but that's just kind of funny. And then on the back, you have the other characters in this wave, and you also have a picture of the Goomba and his articulation. Let's open this up. So here we have the Goomba, and uh, as you can see, he's pretty cool. Now he's, in my opinion, he's a little out of scale with the 4-inch Mario figures. So he doesn't really fit with them, and I'll show them off in a second. Uh, but he does have some nice detailing. I like the double pupils in his eyes. I like the angry teeth he's got there. His eyebrows are really cool. And I always thought these were hamburgers as a kid. To be honest, I kind of still do a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, he also has his shoes, which are nice. They've got the double insoles, which is cool. And then he's got that little flat thing. In terms of articulation, there's really not much, but he does kind of rotate, and his feet move up and down. I mean, it really isn't like with Goombas, you know, they're not very articulate in a sense. Um, so yeah. And for accessories, you do get a power block. Again, you know, Goombas like typically, you know, they don't really have like an accessory like this, but to be fair, you know, I, I like how Jax does try to give you an accessory, even if it doesn't really go with it, it's still kind of cool. And here's a comparison with the 4-inch Tanuki Mario, just to kind of show you how they kind of fit, uh, fit in together. Get them to stand. So as you can see, Mario and Goomba are basically the same height here. And that's typically not how it is between them. And I'll show it off to some of the other characters. Like, here's the Piranha Plant. The Piranha Plant, again, you know, I mean, it's kind of an okay scale, but it's just a little too big. And then here's a comparison with a regular Mario. So, to be honest, um, yeah, it's, it's just a little too big. However, I do have a reason for wanting to pick this up. Uh, and that's because if we bring in a 2.5 inch Mario here and stand him beside the ginormous Goomba, I mean, clearly, you know, that's not very accurate to most Goombas. But in some levels of Super Mario and in some Super Mario games, there's like a giant world sometimes. Um, it's very prominent in the new Super Mario Bros. games. And I think even in some of the spinoff material too. And uh, sometimes like in those games, you would step on them and then they would like two Goombas would come out. But Basically, you know, there are giant Goombas in the game, so even though this is not intended to be like a 2.5 inch giant Goomba, that's definitely what it's going to be in my collection. And I mean, it just kind of looks perfect as one of those giant Goombas. And here's a comparison with the Mario 2.5 inch Odyssey captured Goomba. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. And let's see. I, I kind of feel like this Goomba is still a little small, but I think these, the 2.5 inch Goombas, are probably better in scale than anything. But they are still a little too small. But I do think they're better in scale than, like I said, the other ones. And, you know, with the 2.5 inch figures, they're, they were a little bit around the same height. Uh, but yeah, so overall, I think this is pretty cool. Like I said, it's not 100% accurate to the 4-inch series, but it is accurate a little bit to the 2-inch series, and it's just a pretty cool, you know, thing to have. I mean, they did a good job with it. They captured what a Goomba is, and to be fair, you know, I mean, they couldn't have made this thing really small and really set the price point, so I understand why they made it massive, and it's cool, too, because I can still use it, like I said, as a giant Goomba. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.